Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll and tonight, to, not tonight, today, it is daytime. I am coming to you with this wonderful little ornament that I bought. I got it from my, my um, local thrift store down the street from me, my Salvation Army, and I got it for $1.50. It was on, it was $3 on for half price. I did not even know that when I walked in. I found that out when I got to the till. So anyways, it was all red tags. If you had a red tag item, it was on for um, half price. So anyways, I took it, this little ornament. It's a stork with a little bag. There is a marking on the bottom of it, which it really I don't really care about too much. But there is a little blue marking of going around. I can't tell what it's trying to tell me, but you know what? I didn't get it for the marking. I got it for another reason. Uh, something else I like to do with it. But, you know, I thought it was quite quaint. And I've p bypassed many times this type of thing. Um, I've seen and I just don't bother with it. And I'm thinking, you know, why, why am I doing that? Because these are getting harder to find. And um, you don't see them every day. And I thought these, this would be really nice to take and put a little baby inside of it. And just have it as a nice little touch in my nursery. You know, these you don't always have to have an expensive doll or anything of that sort. Just a nice little, little ornament can speak volumes in your nursery and um, your doll nursery. And just to say something more about your, your dolls and everything. It's just a nice little addition. But I cleaned it out on the inside. I imagine this was a, a planter. You could put like a little plant in there. Uh, maybe it was just a... Um, uh, a plastic one or maybe it was a real one I'm not sure it is uh, porcelain so or China whatever um, it would break very very easily I don't know what year this would be I'm not too sure about it I want to say maybe 50s 60s maybe I could be wrong I'm not too sure my actually my daughter pointed this out to me I actually bypassed it and didn't even see it there was so much on the shelves that my eyes did not see see this I just didn't pick up on it uh, one of the things that I've been seeing a lot on the shelves in my at, at, down at our down the street from me here, there was a lot of these little donkeys that they have that toothpicks used to come in. I remember them back in uh, when I was a young gal. We had one. It was a little um, cart, and you put your toothpicks in the cart, and um, the the donkey either wore a hat or didn't wear a hat, you know, type of thing. You got you got them at your local grocery store, but I saw a lot of those in there. But um, this I was looking at actually at those, you know. I put them back because I I don't need them. But I bypassed this, and my daughter goes, "What about this?" And I went, "Oh, I like that. I'm getting it, you know." So there we go, you know. So anyways, what did I I do? Well, Janet gave me a nice little baby doll that I've been looking for. I separated it from the dolls that I have because I thought if I ever found some Something like this I would like to use it in it do you think I can find that doll now that I want it no I don't know what I did but I did find a doll that will work you know but it's not the one I wanted but I'm going to keep looking I will find it and I know I separated it thinking I will want that doll <laughs> little baby for something and boy does it bother me if I find it and I'm making a video I will show you that I swapped out this doll little baby doll for another one but anyways, what I'm going to do is put in a little, I bought, went and got some stuffing and made a nice little stuffing bed. It's because it looks like a cloud, doesn't it? And then I found this nice little cabbage patch baby, just a little one with his little tushy showing, wearing a little diaper. So I thought, well, this will just have to do for now until I can find that other little baby. And he's actually a little boy, and he has his little boy parts. But anyways, we got this little cabbage patch one. That's why I thought it would work so good, because he is actually a boy. But we'll put him in there, and we're going to put just a little bit of stuffing back behind his head, because we don't want to bruise that little baby head. While he's flying up in the sky, waiting to go, flying to, to his new home to see his new mummy and daddy. And there we are. Oh my goodness. There we go. There. I would like to get one that has the pink bag if I ever can find one. That would be great, you know. But anyhow, as that may be, there he is, tucked safely in the little sack. And he's ready to fly off into the sky and go to his new mom and dad. <laughs> Isn't that nice? But anyways, these are things that you could look for for your nursery. And um, like I say, they add a nice touch. A touch that, you know, that uh, somebody goes, oh, that's cute, you know, their eyes, other people's eyes go to that in the background or foreground or whatever, wherever you want to put it. But anyways, um, another thing I want to say before I depart here from this video, I just want to say to those that are down in Florida and all the way up through the North Carolina to um, Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia, 
um, wherever the, these storms have affected people. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, I was talking to Maria Reyes, and she was saying that there were some Canadian trucks coming down to help in Florida. I'm so glad to hear that. We are neighbors to one another, and in time of help, we need to be there for each other, and I'm glad we are. We've had help from the U.S. when we've been in trouble. And so anyways, I just want to say that to you, that um, that uh, this is something that um, I, my, my prayers and my thoughts are with you. Um, another thing I was going to say is, oh, and to my Canadian friends out there, I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and that everybody is having a great time with your family and friends and that you're having a lot of good turkey or ham or whatever it is that you have for your Thanksgiving. Some people are not traditional. They go non-traditional during this time as well. So whatever makes your Thanksgiving rock. Um, I hope you're having a great time with your family and friends and that you're, um, you know, just just um, relaxing and, and taking this day and just, just having some fun as well. That's why I thought I'd come out here and make a video. i got to have some fun just as well. And um, I'm working still on the Casper the Ghost. Um, he's coming along really nice. Um, I was putting on his outfit just to see what would be covered up. And, you know, it was something when I was looking at Casper. Let me take you off of here for a second. I just want to show you this. When I was putting on Casper's uh, hood, I noticed that it covered up this part of the crack here. You don't, I, I, I remember now when I took the hood off of him, I was surprised to see the crack on that side because the hood covered it or most of it up. So I was really pleased to see that, but he is coming along really nice. That um, I'm not nowhere near done painting him at all. He needs at least another 20 coats of paint because this is, this plastic is absorbing that paint and you can still see the yellow coming through. So I have to keep going. Um, I'm not done. I'm hoping tonight I can put on another three or four coats of paint. But uh, my daughter and I are leaving tomorrow to go to another city for a little uh, overnight trip. So I don't know if I'll get much done today because i got a pack to go. Not that I've got to bring much with me, but um, we are doing some Christmas shopping while, when we go. So, um, you know, we're going to go to some malls that we don't have here. they got a lot of mightier stores than what we do here in my little my little city. So... Um, this is something that we're excited about. So maybe when I get back, I'll start him. I don't know if I want to start painting him and then having to clean up I got since I got a lot to do. But anyways, we're going to get back to him. He's not done yet. And so, but he is coming along quite nicely. I am really pleased with, you know, once when I paint him, the paint is wet. You really see the where I mended him. But once that paint dries, it 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 um, is starting to match into that where I fixed him. So... It's not as bad. Now on this side it is. You can see it there. But that, like I said, a lot of, lot of it is covered up by the hood. When you come down the lower of the cheek, you see it more. But we're not, like I said, we're not done painting yet. I was showing my daughter what we have to, I have to do. I have to get them as white, you know, really white, white like this here. Like even whiter. I think I was holding this up instead. So this is how white he needs to get. He needs to get so white like this that it blends in with the crack on his face and everything. You can still see the yellow through him there. That yellow is, is a very strong yellow. You can see that yellow down below there. That I don't have to be particular about because that hides down in the neck. My my main focus is up here around the, the, the face area for sure and underneath the chin and everything. So um, I'm gonna be coming back to this again. And if you wanna see more on the cleaning the airbrush, I'll be doing that regardless. I'm gonna make another video about it. I think someone said they wanted to see me do it one more time. I'll do it slower and, um, and so you can see each and every step of cleaning it. So anyways, I just wanna stop here and I want you to, I want, every, I want you, I want everybody to have a great day if you can and um, relax. And like I say to my Canadian friends, gobble, gobble. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.